can the use of sex toys enhance intimacy in couples? What is the role of self-exploration in sexuality? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, the use of sex toys can enhance intimacy in couples by adding variety, exploration, and additional pleasure to sexual life. It can help improve communication and sexual satisfaction in a relationship. Self-exploration is crucial in sexuality, allowing individuals to understand their bodies, discover preferences, and connect with their pleasure. Through masturbation, it contributes to greater self-acceptance, improves sexual response, and facilitates open communication in intimate relationships, thus promoting emotional and sexual well-being. Height Fetishism This fetish involves sexual attraction to people of certain heights, either a attraction to very tall people, geontophilia, or people of short stature, microphilia. Historical Stigma Throughout history, female masturbation has often been stigmatized and considered shameful or inappropriate, However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy practice. Impact of Technology on Sex Technology has transformed how people engage sexually, from accessing online pornography to using apps and devices to enhance sexual experiences. Impact on Mental Health Individuals diagnosed with STDs may experience emotional stress, anxiety, depression, and feelings of shame or guilt highlighting the importance of psychological support in managing these diseases. Impact on relationship. Anorgasmia can have a significant impact on the romantic relationship as it may lead to frustration, discomfort, and feelings of sexual dissatisfaction in both partners. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Importance of partner support. Partner support and understanding are crucial for overcoming premature ejaculation, as open communication and a collaborative attitude can facilitate the search for and implementation of effective treatments. Importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care involves taking steps to protect sexual and emotional health, including the use of contraceptives, STD screening, and establishing healthy boundaries in sexual relationships. Incorporation into alternative therapies. Some alternative therapists use principles of the Kama Sutra in practices such as Tantra and couples therapy, aiming to improve emotional and sexual connection between partners. In India, where sex education in schools is limited, some NGOs have implemented sex education programs for teenagers, using theater and creative media to address topics such as reproductive health and child marriage. Influence on popular culture. The Kama Sutra has influenced numerous forms of art and entertainment, including literature, film, music, and visual art, demonstrating its lasting impact on contemporary society. Inspiration in film and television. The Kama Sutra has been depicted in numerous movies, television series, and plays, both as an object of academic study and as a source of entertainment and creative exploration. Kama Sutra and Mindfulness. Some mindfulness practitioners incorporate principles of the Kama Sutra into their teachings, emphasizing the importance of mindfulness and conscious connection during sexual activity. Kama Sutra in Contemporary Art Contemporary artists use the Kama Sutra as inspiration to create provocative artworks that challenge social conventions and explore sexual diversity. Kama Sutra in Yoga There are yoga practices inspired by the Kama Sutra, which combine physical postures with breathing techniques and meditation to enhance the connection between the body and sexuality. In rural communities in Latin America, Sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. In the LGBTQ community, inclusive and affirmative sexual education 
is essential to address the specific needs of queer, transgender, and non-binary individuals, promoting acceptance and diversity in all sexual orientations and gender identities. Male and female orgasm. Although there are similarities in the physiology of orgasm between men and women, there are also significant differences, such as duration and intensity, as well as the ability to experience multiple orgasms, which vary from person to person. Masturbation and orgasm. Female masturbation can lead to orgasm, but some women also enjoy the process without necessarily reaching climax, focusing on exploration and pleasure. Masturbation and vaginal lubrication. Stimulation during masturbation can increase vaginal lubrication, which can make penetration more comfortable and pleasurable during sexual intercourse. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation is not limited to young women. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as part of their sexual life and overall well-being. In some indigenous cultures in Latin America, such as the Maya in Guatemala, there are ancestral traditions that include teaching about sexuality as an integral part of life and individual worldview. Modern interpretations. Over time, the Kama Sutra has been subject to modern reinterpretations and adaptations that have made it more accessible and relevant to contemporary audiences, demonstrating its ability to evolve with the times. Myths about sexuality. There are many myths and misconceptions about sexuality that persist in society, such as the idea that masturbation is harmful or that virginity is related to moral purity, which can negatively affect attitudes and sexual behaviors. In some European countries like the Netherlands and Germany, sexual education programs are implemented, including visits to sexual and reproductive health clinics for young people to obtain information and services in an accessible and confidential manner. Object fetishism. This type of fetish involves sexual attraction to inanimate objects, such as shoes, underwear, lingerie, sex toys, or other everyday items. Open communication. Open and honest communication with a partner is crucial for discovering and satisfying each woman's sexual preferences. Discussing what is enjoyed and what is not, as well as trying new positions together, can strengthen the connection and intimacy in the relationship. PC muscle exercise. Regularly practicing exercises to strengthen the pubococcygeal, PC muscle, can help some men improve control over ejaculation. Piercing fetishism. Similar to tattoo fetishism, some individuals experience sexual arousal towards piercings in certain parts of the body, finding piercings erotically appealing. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.